In this example, we're going to talk a little bit about how we can use video for discussion as a formative assessment. So in this lesson I was building out, what I wanted to do was to give students a, a link to a YouTube video that, that they would serve as the direct teach. And in the directions, I ask my students to complete a wow and a what. And what I mean by that is that as they watch the video, when they get to a certain part that they consider to be something that they were really impressed with and they learned, they would come down to the comments here and add a comment. So my wow might be, um, I learned the difference between anxiety and fear. Now, the second thing they have to comment on is their what, which is something they might have a question about. What I'm going to do is leave this comment here and notice that as the comments pop up, they, they also show here in the timeline of the video. And this is really cool because as students continue to watch this video, they're going to see each other's comments pop up at the point in the video at which everybody's having their wow and what moment. It's really great. Plus, students can reply to one another. Now, as a teacher, providing feedback to your students, it's really important to just monitor this conversation, be sure that students are using academic language, and um, think about how you may use sentence stems or other strategies to really help students uh, develop that academic language. Now, what I'd like to do is just give you a quick tutorial on how I created this. Now, this, this this video here, this could be built into any aspect of Canvas. It could be uh, an announcement, a page. Uh, it can be placed in various places. But at first, what you want to do is find the video that you want to share. So in this example, I found a really great weather versus climate lesson from Crash Course Kids. And what I want to do is grab the address up here and just copy that. And what I'm going to do is use a feature inside of Canvas called Studio. So when I go into Studio, this is a place where I can add my YouTube video and I can do other things, but this is just one of many things I can do. I can click add and I can paste in my video and you can see that I've actually already have done this. I've already imported this YouTube video. So now that I've put it into Canvas Studio, I can go into my course and let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to go into a module and let me go ahead and create a new discussion. So this will be weather climate. I've added it. And now what I'm going to do is edit. This gives me a chance to edit my directions. And in the directions, I'm going to add my video. So I'm going to press the plug and go to Canvas Studio. And you'll see my library comes up and I'm going to select my video and you'll see that it's a standard. And of course, do I want to allow comments? Yes or no. The comments are what show up along the timeline of the video. So yes, I do want that. Now, because I also built this inside of a discussion, there's going to be an extra place for discussion to happen. But we can place this again in any feature inside of Canvas. This could be an announcement, it could be a page, it can be a, an assignment, um, it can go into many different places. If you have questions about this, be sure to reach out to us at Tech and Design, www.saisd.net slash edtech.